Hey everyone, welcome to another video. I'm CJ, and today we're looking at a home in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Now this is my new home. I just moved here two weeks ago, and I looked at about a dozen or so homes with various different agents before picking this one. But it was definitely something to work up to. There were a lot of hard work and determination, and if you're interested in finding out how to do the same, tune into my Twitch channels on twitch.tv slash cjride. Immediately upon walking into the apartment, the first thing you notice are the huge windows. Floor to ceiling windows, extremely high ceiling top. This is quite unusual for Asia. First bathroom, it's a half bath. Great lighting, and I love the fact that I can have a friend over, a guest, and they won't need to walk through my bedroom or somewhere else that's private in order to use the restroom. Lots of switches in this place. I don't even know what they all do yet. Some of them control the ceiling fans, auxiliary lighting. This one controls the microwave, the stove power. I don't know why they're on individual switches, but that's all right. Also at the front, we got the boosted board. The wheels are off right now because we're working on various mods. We're gonna put on some all-terrain wheels. We have a bunch of 3D printed parts. So if you're interested in following along with that, check out that YouTube video. Got some shoes, got my new red, wet, blue Ultra Boost. Let's head over to the kitchen where we have these beautiful granite countertops. Look at that. The glass countertop here with the clear chairs. I really like that design idea. I feel like it opens up the room by having the clear chairs. And something I've never seen before in Asia, an oven extremely rare and I went to 14 15 different homes there was no other place that had an oven we got the four burner stovetop microwave underneath here it's pretty small that's okay also something extremely rare a garbage disposal you would never realize until moving abroad these small little things that make life so much easier Having a garbage disposal is a really, really big deal. The cupboard on the left here is where you can do your laundry. It's also the first time ever I've had a full drying machine. This one's kind of strange. There's this compartment here that holds the water or moisture during the dry cycle. And instead of it draining down a pipe or something, you have to dump this out yourself. So. It's an extra step, that's okay. Definitely very lucky to have one of those. Makes life a little bit easier. We got the full size fridge. Look at the freezer. I've got some chicken waiting to be cooked up. And just some simple fruits and vegetables at the moment. We need to go grocery shopping. But man, no more living out of a mini fridge. Thank God. There's a lot of, uh, things that I didn't buy. The apartment was already purposed with these. The only thing this apartment doesn't have is probably a dishwasher. And there were some units I saw that had dishwashers in the newer buildings, maybe four or five years old. Most of them are, are luxury condos or apartments. Now over here in the living room, got this amazing comfortable couch, got my plushies. We got the work in progress stream servers. And I had to add an extra desk because I need monitors until I can get some dummy HDMI DVI plugs. But yeah, this is what runs the stream. This is the OBS streaming computer and this is running Linux to run the camera feeds. Got my small studio editing table here. Really, really like it a lot. Um, probably upgrade the PC in a year or so, but that's all I got for now. It works. Look at this. Look at this view. Holy cow. There's so much natural lighting in here. Very, very comfortable. 
Uh, I actually don't run the air conditioning very often. It is on at the moment. Maybe you can hear it. Hopefully the microphone's not picking it up too much. But yeah, a, a lot of the time I don't need air conditioning. The fans are great. You might see some things in these shelves. They're not all mine. Uh, these pictures are mine, but a lot of the plants and stuff, uh, they, they came with the apartment. I've got my charging station over here. Yeah, look at that monstrosity. Selfie sticks waiting. Couple of my hats, a couple of things I got from Japan. And this balcony, I don't know what to put on it yet. It's pretty big though. I have to get some chairs or something. Quite nice. I, I generally don't leave stuff outside in Asia because uh, it can be dusty or, or dirty. Things get dirty when they're left outside very easily. But kind of cool. Maybe a place to chill, drink a beer, and look at the palm trees at night. Next, let me take you guys into the master bedroom. This is it, the master bedroom where the magic happens. Finally some private space where I can unwind and not be working right on top where I'm sleeping. Uh, right away, again, you notice the big floor to ceiling windows right next to the amazing, amazing pool. Look at those trees again. This place was furnished before I got here, so uh, not decorated by me, but I do do enjoy that white horse on top. A lot of shelves, uh, these were like custom put in by the landlord. So each unit around here is a little bit different. And next, my favorite part of the apartment, the master bathroom. Right away we can see the his and her sinks, two mirrors, full size bathtub, really great size shower here. And look at this, this might be the first time in many years where I haven't had to bend over or kneel down a little bit. The shower is actually tall enough. Look at the rack, you can even go higher. I'm six feet tall. Shout out to the developer of this building. Thank you for making a tall enough shower. Uh, there we got the toilets, nothing special there. You know, usually I'm not a bathtub kind of guy. I feel like it's kind of dirty. Uh, the ones in this building though, are really nice. Maybe we'll actually use it. It's kind of funny thinking back now. Out of uh, all the homes I've lived in the past three years, probably five different apartments in three different countries. And if you look at the square footage of this bathroom, it's probably bigger than the master bedroom in my apartment in Korea. So check out that video if you haven't seen it. Now we're comparing apples to oranges a little bit in terms of price and uh, square footage. Truly, really feeling lucky to be here, but it didn't come without sweat and tears. And if you want to know how to make it too, you're looking for some tips, tune into the live stream. In fact, we might even be chatting out by the pool here pretty soon. So I hope my home is not only a great living place, which it obviously has been so far, but also a studio for us to create content and invite friends and other streamers. I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I visited at least 14 different apartments and met with many different realtors. We went to high rises, different neighborhoods all over KL and really saw a lot. Many great places here. Lots of construction going on constantly. Uh, of course, many of the buildings are new. It seems like there's a lot of Chinese developers coming in here and building homes. For a couple of the places I went to, they probably were around 50% occupancy. So there's definitely a lot of availability, a lot of options. And uh, that's helping us as consumers because it's keeping the rent low, which is amazing. So cost of living is actually pretty great. Happy times ahead with the live stream. What do you think about that? See you guys in the next video. Later.